Hello friends of YouTube, this is Vintage Merc Fan coming to you with a new video on uh, how to do the water pump in the Auto Trans Mercury's, which will be the Mercury Mark 10, Mark 15, this is not a Mark 15, but the Mark 15, the Mark 28, I believe that's all of them, is the 10, 15, and 28. Um, I don't have a 15, but it should be the same for that grouping of automatic trans engines. Um, this one is a 1959 Mercury Mark 28 AD, and then I have a 58 Mark 10 over there. Um, that's going to be the main focus of this next couple of videos, um, but... I had to look at an issue with this one and figured since I got this one pretty much um, at the start apart, I can uh, kind of show how this comes apart. So um, in the beginning, <clears throat> you'll have your gear case up on the top of your motor and there will be a little, not, well not little, but there will be a... Uh, a cover on the front of the engine right here under the bottom um, uh, the midsection mounts and it'll look a little like this it'll be a, a front cover like that it'll have um, three Phillips screws so two one right there and one right there, and then one right here. Excuse me, and then your uh, oil vent fill screw. Remove the three Phillips heads. You may only have to loosen the top uh, fresh water vent a little bit, if at all. And yeah, you're gonna have to undo all three. Um, and then this cover will come off. Nothing holding it on the side. Be careful when you do take it off because up inside here, right inside of here, there's a pin with a spacer in the center and two springs. And that spring looks just like that. And it might, may or may not fall out depending how you're working on your motor, on your engine. And sorry for the poor lighting. I gotta get some new lights for the garage. But, um,. See if I can do this this way. Oh. It will basically sit up in your engine just like this. It'll just sit where the pin sits in this recess here. And then the, sh the long ends of the spring will face towards the shift rod. And it's critical that you get these springs back in the right spot because they are two different lengths. And the long one goes on towards the bottom of the engine, goes towards the lower unit. And this is really hard to do with a flashlight. But let's do that for a minute. There we go. So... This one right here is the long spring and it goes towards the lower unit. So it's going to sit in the bottom or in sit in there so that it's facing down. And then once that comes out, you should be, you'll be okay to do everything else. And you'll want to, oh, this is a pain. I'm going to have to redo this video. You'll want to take out this clip and remove the rod from the uh, from the shifter fingers right here and then there will be a nut on a stud there at the bottom and then these two studs on either side and there's a nut and there will be a nut in those two holes that hole right there and there's one 
that holds the uh, water pump intake screen on. You take both those nuts off. You may have to kind of wiggle and pry a little bit to get it to come off, but the lower unit will come off. And that will do it for this video. Um, may end up redoing this, but just for a quick intro video, this will have to do for now. Thanks, and see you later.